Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our back. We're going to start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, followed by a deep squat, part of our dynamic stretching routine. And as always, uh, I do mention that if you prefer to do cardio, you may do it for two to five minutes pre-workout. I always suggest that cardio should be part of a post-workout routine or at some other point of the day not anywhere close to your uh, workout schedule basically where you will be lifting weights or doing the strength training for various reasons but otherwise yes dynamic stretching plus two to five minutes of cardio just to get your heart beat up is completely fine it depends upon the time availability i don't i try to accommodate as many repetitions as possible in my workouts so cardio often i do it some other part of my day or post workout now make sure you sit in a deep squat at least for a minute or two in the day i daily prefer to do it just before my workout easy to just push it in and get it done now we are going to start with t-bar rows four sets 20 repetitions with 60 seconds break in between once we are done with 20 repetitions as usual we slightly stand up and do another as many repetitions as possible actually for our upper back right now our entire back is working now make sure you do at least two sets as warm-up just to get your blood flowing just to get your positioning right so that when you're doing your working sets and lifting heavier weights you have it all figured out and you don't need much of a time break in between so use warm-up sets as a way to figure out your right posture I always like to use smaller plates because it gives me a lot more range of motion. I can completely stretch my arms all the way down, roll my shoulders down and then from there pull it back up all the way. And bigger, smaller plates allows me that amount of travel. If I have a big plate, I have to stop or at least cut my range of motion by 20 to 30 percent. So that's the reason I prefer to stack up smaller plates and do it in that manner. If you have a T-bar equipment at your gym, I mean, nothing more great than that. Post completing those, we move on to lat pull downs. Again, a simple exercise. I have my grips in my gym and I prefer to use them because they put less effort or stress on my forearms. Uh, otherwise, the conventional lat pull down machine is more than sufficient. If you have that, please go ahead and use that one. If you don't, you can always set it up in such a manner on a cable machine. Here again, we always prefer to do full range of motion. So when we pull back down, we come all the way down, slightly touch on our chest and then go all the way out, release our shoulders. So making sure our lat stretch is completely out, our back is working, doing that, you know, imagine it opening up completely and then coming back completely and creating that squeeze as you can see here. A small amount of swing forward and backward is to create that extra bit of stretch and extra bit of contraction so do it at your own comfort otherwise it's a pretty easy exercise and the only thing i often face a challenge is that my forearm starts getting worked up a little bit after completing the exercise so that's one of the things which you might also come across don't be worried just focus on driving your elbows all the way behind without creating maximum amount of bicep activation Post those, we start with our shrugs. Now shrugs, I happen to have a trap bar in my gym. So I'm using it because it gives me a lot more width while doing the shrugs. Three sets, 20 repetitions. Now if you don't have a trap bar, you can use a regular barbell. Try to hold it as wide as possible. Use straps or gloves to provide you that extra bit of grip strength because we don't want our repetitions to be compromised because of grip strength. Now, if you don't even have a straight bar, you can obviously do it with dumbbells. It doesn't really matter. You can do it standing or seated. Since I have a trap bar, I'm going to use that because it gives me the width and also the ease of doing the exercise. Make sure, again, full range of motion. Three sets, 20 repetitions. Keep your brakes short because it's small muscle should recover quickly. Try to finish your repetitions or reach the number of repetitions as much as possible. The cue here is always to remember drive your shoulders towards your ears they won't touch not possible but it's a great way to cue yourself in terms of completing the repetitions now for the last exercise we are going to do 
single and high cable rows set up the cable all the way up and as you can see just one knee down and hold the cable all the way above your head and pull it all the way down your elbows should cross your hips so you get the maximum amount of lat contraction and go slow about it again that is like a staple law you can fix with that full range of motion and going slow about it the only times when we don't do full range of motion is when we are completing our number of repetitions and then if we have a little bit of gas left we can do maybe lengthened partials but otherwise stick to full range of motion now you don't need to take a break while switching from one arm to the other you may take a break after completing both your arms or you can just keep switching in between it depends upon the amount of uh, i would say stamina left in you to go about it but otherwise you can take a break of 30 to 45 seconds in between and here i am switching my arms just one arm done with 20 repetitions switch the other arm and continue to do so the rotation bit it's not absolutely necessary you can also not rotate but i just try to rotate and give that extra bit of squeeze a little bit extra bit of contraction just for my sake of satisfaction that's about it otherwise you don't need to actually rotate all the way around and that's it we are done for the day we are going to finish off with a simple vertical hang wide grip vertical hang to stretch out our lats that's just me just checking if i can still do a pull up after all that work but otherwise yes you can finish off here and i hope you had a great workout thank you so much for watching if you did like the workout and it really worked for you please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. The workout routines are going to keep coming and I'm going to keep posting now the nutrition bit also. I've already posted one video. If you haven't yet checked that one out, please do. The secret is out. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.